Hey everyone, I just got the Barbie Corvette. This is from Barbie the Movie, the new movie that is coming out soon, or the movie might already be out depending on when you're watching this video. This is made by Heart Wheels. It's a Heart Wheels RC. It is remote control. Comes with a little controller right there. And uh, it has it has room for two Barbie dolls inside it, or Kens, or whatever. And uh, the trunk opens and closes. It's got, uh, of course, spinning wheels. So I believe this is a 1956 Corvette, which is the first year that it had this really cool design on it. Uh, so that is uh, one of the coolest Corvette designs on it. Here is this side of the box. It's got some, uh, a little bit of information uh, in different languages. On the back, it's just got a nice photo of the car showing that the trunk and the two Barbies fit and the controller and all that. So let's see, the other side has, of course, the picture again. Okay, so I found this, I went to five different stores, and I found one. Here's the barcode right here. Um, I went to three Targets and two Walmarts, and I only found one of these in one Walmart. So it is uh, kind of rare right now. I'm, I'm hoping that the, when the movie comes out, they'll have more in the stores, because it's kind of stupid to uh, go to the stores and... Even in the Barbie aisles, they don't even have these. They, these are only in like a certain uh, section out in the open. And it's not in the Barbie aisle or the doll aisle. All right, so I'm going to cut this open. Let's see. I'm going to cut that right there. Oh, there's three pieces of tape. I don't know if this is the right end to cut it open from or not. But we will see. All right, so there is some... Um, Cardboard comes out pretty easily. Let's get rid of that. All right, so now this this was pretty good for display. It's got it looks like a little uh, photo of her house back there. Uh, it looks like there's a little plant and maybe I don't know some kitchen stuff. I don't know what this is. It's just her house, but uh, I'm just going to open it. I'm not really interested in displaying this. I'm not really interested in saving the box, although. I just, I don't really feel like ripping it open. Okay, this definitely, oh, more, more papers. Okay, this is definitely holding in the car. So we're going to have to get this out. Okay. Usually these things turn and spin. So you just kind of um, pop that end up there like that. Make it so that it's sticking up like that. Get that one and get this one. Of course, if you want to, you could be much more uh, careful with this. Uh, you don't have to just start slashing at it like I'm doing. All right, so also uh, you might want to cut around this because it has to spin. There we go. See, that just spins. And that one spins. And that one spins. And this one might need a little bit of cutting around the tape. Alright, there we go. They're all spun. Let's just throw them over there. Okay, and that one. And that one. Alright, now how... How easy is this going to be to get out? Let's see. Oh, pretty easy. Good, good, good. All right, so we have that. Put that aside for a minute, and we're going to need to get this out. Let's see. That is... Oh, the car is going away. Okay, that is just two spinning things with no tape. So we're just going to do like that and throw it. And we're going to do like that. And, and get rid of that. All right, this is very easy to take apart. All right, instructions, Hot Wheels RC, Barbie, the movie car. Um, it's got a car and it's got that thing. It's got the underside, there's a screwdriver. The uh, screwdriver does stuff right there. And you need two AA batteries for the controller. And the controller has buttons, does uh, stuff, and it's got LEDs and a battery box. Let's see. Uh, let's see, over here, 
we got a switch. Uh, it goes left and right. And this thing turns. I already did that. Let's see. It has steering and seat belts. Always wear your seat belts. And the trunk opens and closes. Alright, that's the instructions. And this is some other stuff. Yep. Alright, let's take a look at the car. This is so cool. Alright, so the one thing I noticed about this... Are you going to stay? Um, is the car in the commercials for the movie has four seats. And this one only has two seats. So this is your standard uh, 1956 Corvette. Probably maybe Hot Wheels had the, the mold for it or something. Although I looked on eBay for Hot Wheels RC Corvette. And I did not see any other ones like this. This is the only... Only the Barbie one exists that, that I saw on eBay, but I didn't, I didn't do, I just looked for like, you know, two or three minutes. Uh, okay, so the doors do not open or close, it looks like. The hood does not open or close. Uh, it looks like it would be pretty easy to cut open if you're that type of person that wants to cut it open and build some hinges or something. The door might be a little bit harder because you got to go through two layers and build like an interior of the door and all that. Okay, but the trunk does open, which is very cool. Uh, storage in vehicles is always great. Uh, it looks like it's got a good amount of room there. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, it says Cor it says Chevrolet on the uh, thing right there. On the, the uh, trunk lid. I mean, yeah. Okay, and these are for the convertible top, but it just, this does not come with a convertible top. It's got a Barbie license plate. Uh, the bumpers and the wheels and all the details, instead of being chrome, they're kind of like a metallic brownish pink. Uh, right here, usually these would be like covered, so it would be more smoother, I think, on, on a real car. But on this one, it's like hollow, and you could uh, get down in there and touch the light. Here are the hubcaps. It's that same brownish pink color. It's metallic, sparkly a little bit. Got white wheel, white wheel tires, which is good for that year of car. Here is the side scoop. It says Chevrolet again. It says EV and, and blue. Uh, that would make sense if Barbie has an electric car, like if it's an EV. Uh, because, of course, she's a Barbie and her toys and cars take batteries. So, of course, her, ve her vehicles would be electric instead of gas. Alright, it says Chevrolet on the front too. That's a sticker. And let's see, it's got the Corvette logo. This is all um, licensed, I guess. Here's the grill. And it's got another Barbie thing right there. And here is the light. That is a sticker. That is paint, red paint. Same on the other side. You can see uh, it's got a very nice clear windshield and you can see the steering wheel through it. It's got a little bit of a, a uh, rear view mirror, kind of. It's very simplified though. And the steering wheel has a little sticker on it. It's got the Corvette logo. The dashboard is a sticker. It's got gauges and see some buttons and stuff over here, but they're all flat. It's all just a sticker. It's not actual buttons. It's got a little bit of a, a shape right here. And the inside is kind of plain and simple. It kind of looks like there's a, uh, it's a gas pedal down there, but it's probably not. It's just, just a weird random shape. The inside of the door has some detail. You can even see a uh, window crank right there. The seats have some white stripes on it, which is very nice. And uh, also the door also has a white stripe. And there are two. Uh, rubbery seat belts. They're kind of really soft and nice. A little bit stretchy. They come out like that. So you can put your Barbies in there. And of course there's lots of room for your very long and tall Barbies. So let's see. Oh, I guess let's take a look at the controller. Huh. Okay, it's very small. It's, it's a lot smaller than a video game controller. It's got black buttons. And let's see, it's got, this is paint. These logos are painted on there. It's got an LED right there. 
and you need a screwdriver to put in the batteries. Let me do that real quick. All right, the cover has the type of screw where it does not come out. So uh, you're not gonna lose it. You know, no one's gonna be eating it accidentally. It's gonna stay right there. Or, or you know, maybe that's just mine. I don't know if yours will do that, but mine has a type of screw that does not come out. So I got some batteries here. These are cheap batteries, so I don't know if that will affect the speed of the car or not, but that's what I got. All right, let's see. This one goes in like that direction with the bumpy thing over here. And the other one goes with the bumpy direction over on that side. And then we put that back there. It's got the Hot Wheels logo on the back. And just tighten it down a little bit. Like so. Oh, the light came on. Is there an on or off switch? There's no on or off switch. That's weird. Okay, so on the bottom here, does this take batteries? Let's see, there's a screwdriver thingy right there. Let's see what's in here. All right, let's see if this is the same. Okay, so that, yeah, that's pretty, pretty safely in there. It's not gonna fall out. Okay, that, oh, look at all them batteries. Luckily, I have lots of batteries. So I got them at the dollar store. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five batteries. Five double A's. Let's see, we got one like with the bump, or, like that way. And they just go opposite every time you put them in the opposite direction. Alright, and let's see, that one goes like that. And this one goes like that. And uh, let's see, put this back on. This is pretty easy to do. Yeah, I think it's in there. So there is some type of power switch. Uh, I'm guessing it's off. So I'm guessing that's on. Let's see. It's got some steering alignment. So if your car is going a little bit too much to the left sometimes, or too much to the right, you just uh, adjust this and the tires should move ever so slightly left or right. Hold on. Let's see. All right, see, it's all the way that way, and then the tires are, like, out of alignment now. But you use that to fix it in case they're, like, crooked. You make them uncrooked. You just fix this whichever way it makes them the most straight angled. All right, so I think it's ready to go. Let's see. Are you ready? Oh. Oh, okay. He just They just actually crashed into Barbie. Barbie was right over there. Alright, so we need a driver. Um, This is a regular Barbie. I did not get the movie Barbie because I have not seen the movie yet. So I don't particularly uh, want it at the moment because I'm not a Barbie collector, but I do like cars. This is I just happen to have this one Barbie and this one Ken. Uh, these are from 1991, I think. So that's how long ago I got them. Alright, so she fits in there very nicely. And let's see. Let's uh, stick that right in there. And just push it in however far you want it to, uh, how tight you want it to go. You can just keep going in. And let's see, with this one, you can just kind of put it out of the way. Alright, so that is what a Barbie doll looks like inside this car. Her hand is on the wheel. And let's see, sit up straight. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Uh, it's a pretty good size, although I, I believe there is a bigger car, a bigger Corvette, uh, you know, for the same size dolls, but uh, it's not radio controlled. So if you want uh, one that you could drive around, uh, you know, with a motor and stuff, then uh, you, you would want this one. This is a smaller size. Uh, the larger size does not have any type of motor, I don't think. But it does have four seats, which is... Actually, I want the bigger one now. That I, I found out that they made a bigger one, but I have not seen that in the stores. So I'm really, really hoping that by the time the movie comes out, all these cars are in the stores a lot more. All right, so here's Ken. He's from the same set as her. The 1991, I think it's like Sun, I don't know, Fantastic Sun Barbie or, I don't know, Sun something. All right, so he can go in there and put your arms. I guess he's going to have to have his arm. Oh, wait, he's got to put a seatbelt on. Let's see. Just stick it right in there. All right, so that's how two dolls fit in here. A uh, Barbie size doll and a Ken size doll. Sorry, I don't have two Barbies or two Kens to, to see the size difference. Like, obviously, two Kens uh, would have a probably a hard time fitting in there. So it's probably best for just a Barbie and a Ken or two um, Barbie friends or whatever. Or you could put other other characters in here like, uh, you know, like Star Wars or, you know, Hot Toys or anything like that. Because these are, I believe, one twelfth scale. So if you have like a Spider-Man or, you know, Darth Vader or something, they could, they should be able to fit in here just fine. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, let's. Uh, oh. <sighs> okay, it's got it's pretty good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna drive it outside. I just want to check out the trunk. Let's see. Okay, what can we put in here? Okay, get out. Let's get out of the car. Put your pants up, Ken. Alright. So, how much room? What can we put in the trunk? Uh, let's see, we're going on a, like, a uh, vacation or something. Okay. Right. Okay. Just, there we go. Oh, no! Alright, we have this bag. It's kind of a large bag. I don't know if Barbie ha usually has bags that big. Uh, it does not fit um, all the way because the trunk is kind of shallow. Like, it's got a lot of room this way, but not a lot of room this way. So, if you want to put something this big in here, you'd have to put it down. Let's see. We've got, like, a, a knapsack type of thing here. Uh, this... Can fit, uh, let's see, not quite, because uh, the the trunk is kind of like angled. All right, so that does not really fit either. I mean, yeah, you could kind of squish it down a little bit. Let's see, I like how the trunk stays up. Let's see, you got some uh, pets. Actually, you know, you, you should never put live pets in. Uh, in the trunk only uh it's, these are stuffed animals you could put your stuffed animals in here and that closes let's see what if ken has some uh little little toy corvettes that he needs to take uh wherever they're going uh, that can fit in there so you can uh you can just uh put a bunch of So, and here's a pink one. Here's a Barbie pink Corvette. It's not really Barbie. But... Alright, let's see. Uh... Alright, you gotta... How many cars, how many Corvettes can fit in the Corvette? I don't know, that many. Uh... Alright, so it's it's a pretty good trunk, but you can't really put large things. Like, um, you're gonna have to pack small when you when you go somewhere in this car. car, car but, um, of course, it's not like a minivan or anything like that. This is a Kind of like a sports car, so uh, you need to uh, think about it when you're bringing extra stuff for luggage or extra clothing. You have to just not not bring everything in your house. All right, so I think this is a really cool car. Well, 
once again, I do think that uh, I kind of want to get the uh, the bigger one with the four seats because uh, in the commercial, Ken is sitting in the back seat and Barbie is sitting um, in the front seat. And then you could put four characters in the car, which is much better than two. Uh, and it's bigger and it, it looks better scale. Like this is not... Um, it's kind of small. They're like barely fitting in there. They do fit, but it looks awkward. You know, a regular car is kind of big and roomy. Even, even small cars. So this is really cool. I'm gonna go uh, drive around and see what it's like outside. And I forgot I had all these rulers and I was going to measure it, but I forgot. All right, so let's see. We got centimeters and inches on here, kind of. All right, I'm going to move this so that the front of the car is even with the front of the ruler. I know you can't tell, but it's, uh, it's kind of like even. And then this is uh, with this bumpy little thingy right here on the, on the uh, fender. It's kind of about the size. Let's see what we got. We got 13, 14, 15, 16 and a half and a little bit. And that's a 41, about 42 centimeters. And let's see, I can use a smaller ruler now. Because we got a, it's not big enough for the hooker. But uh, let's see, there's no side view mirror sticking out. Just a little, tiny little, um, handles so i guess we should measure from the handles because i why would you want to know how wide it is maybe if you want to try to fit it in something so if you're trying to fit it in something you would need to know how wide the handles are so that's about seven and seven and an eighth i don't know in the centimeters let's see why are they i hate when the centimeters are not like the same direction as the as the inches. I mean, I'm, I have to look at it sideways for a minute. It's about it's almost 18 and a half. It's hard to see. This is a stupid ruler. All right, and let's see how tall is it. And uh, uh, once again, this is a stupid ruler because it's got this 
I just got this bumpy thing. So I can't, that's, that's not an accurate measurement. So hold on. Let's just use this ugly ruler. All right. I'm going to put it like that. And let's see. The top of the window is kind of about four and a quarter or uh, about 12 centimeters. Right there. Or a little bit more than. Uh, let's see. What else we got? This way? We get this way. We get this way. What else is there to measure from wheel to wheel? I don't know. Uh, do you measure? Do you measure from the middle of the wheels? The middle wheels is ten inches, and the whole wheels is uh, about twelve and a half. I don't know why you would want that measurement. And I don't know what else to measure on here. Maybe how tall is it with the trunk? Let's see. I'm just gonna look at it sideways. It's about six inches tall. All right, so that was my review of this car. I think it's really cool and it's a lot of fun because it's remote control. But uh, again, it is a little bit small and you can only put two characters in it, but that that's fine. It, and it's good for car collectors because some car collectors might want uh, an actual Corvette that only has two seats because that's the way they were built in, uh, in the 50s. Uh, so you can decide if you want this or not. I think it's really cool. Um, the, the sculpting is nice and is, it's a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and see you later. Bye.